Hey there, it's Rich with Rich Bound Photography, Sacramento, California, with another video. And I thought it time to do a, an update on my what's in my bag uh, or what's in my case or box for uh, real estate photography. Because I go through changes, I buy new things, I switch brands. I used to be with Young Nuo, before that I was Nikon Flashes, Young Nuo. And, uh, and then I got a Sony a6000, which by the way, I'm not going to show that today because I'm filming with it. And the Sam Yang 12 millimeter F2 lens. I love it. Anyway, um, so I'm going to show you what I'm using these days. Anyway, I am a uh, real estate photographer, but I also shoot sports. I shoot weddings. Everything I have different bags for. For this, I have a Pelican. 1510 case I bought used off of Craigslist with the padded dividers, Velcro dividers, and this is just the greatest case for me. It's wheelable and it's tough and I love it. And um, I also have a think tank airport security for my wedding. Uh, I also have a low backpack, which is a big backpack, air, uh, AW200 for my sports photography. I fit a 300 millimeter 2.8 in there. I can get all my stuff in there. But for real estate, and that's what I'm going to go into today, into today, I am going to use this 1510 Pelican case. Anyway, I got uh, 75 bucks used off of Craigslist. Great deal. So anyway, let's just get started. So the first thing I do is I pull my tripod out of the car and I put it next to my trunk. And sometimes I carry everything inside and put it together if I'm in a sketchy neighborhood, but I'm not usually in a sketchy neighborhood, so I feel okay. And I put my tripod, which is the Manfrotto 3046. I love and I've done many uh, reviews on that. I have the Manfrotto 405 geared head. I also love that. And um, I'm using a really right stuff lever clamp with a bubble level on it to attach my camera. So that lever clamp is an awesome lever clamp. But I'm filming with it today, so you can't really see it. Anyway, I first now, I will pull out my backup camera or the camera I use for more important or more like architectural design jobs. I also shoot weddings with it. I have a Nikon D750, which I really, really like. And on that, uh, I have a Nikon 16 to 35. So all of you asking what lens I would put on a full frame Nikon camera. Uh, if you just wanted a zoom, a nice ultra wide zoom lens, Nikon 16 to 35, a little bit of distortion at the wide end, but it's a great lens. And I've gone all over the world. I've had two of these and I've just used them, used the crap out of them. Anyway, I also have on, I have a, a really right stuff L bracket so I can go from a uh, horizontal landscape orientation to a vertical portrait orientation and my lever clamp I just clamp it down and it doesn't turn it off axis anyway I don't want to go into specifics of everything I've got right now but it's what I use okay I'm going to put this back in my pelican case I also then immediately pull out my first actually I would put on my um, my iPad with a life proof case and this case I have mainly because it is waterproof and protection which is great but I use it because of the strap it has attachments for a strap I carry it here I'm doing my job I'm lighting I'm doing whatever bam 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 and then I've been seeing bam 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 a lot lately God. pull it out I can then because I'm wirelessly tethered all the time for photography and I can put it here and see it and still deal with my lights and trigger and I don't have to deal with holding or I, I always have it with me too. I don't want to attach it to my tripod because if I'm going out to, to another room and I am back here, I don't want to have to go back to the camera to see my iPad. I have it right here. I can adjust the light, trigger it and to see if the power is great from the camera. So anyway, that's what I use. You can use whatever the hell you want, but that's what I use. Anyway, the next thing I'm going to show you is, oh, by the way, for my Sony, I am using the camera remote app from Play Memories. It's, comes, it's like 10 bucks from Sony, and uh, it is a great app. It's not quite as great as my next thing. My next little feature is the Cam Ranger, but they're very similar and they work great, and I'm not going to complain about either. They both have their bugs, but I really like this uh, the A6000 with the remote camera app uh, and for my Nikon I attach with the this is the Cam Ranger you can see it's just a little router 
Anyway, 300 bucks, but man, it's worth 300 bucks. Just the app alone is worth 300 bucks. Anyway, I attach it to my Nikon with a little carabiner and I put a little bit of zip tie on my L bracket and then I can just attach it there and it just lives there and plug it in, good to go. Anyway, okay, so I'm gonna continue on. Always have an extra battery. Always have an extra camera. And now let's talk about triggers. I use the uh, X-T32 Godox, which uh, Adorama also makes one. I forget what it is. Just put an X-T32 into Adorama, you'll find this. I like this trigger. I also have a backup for my trigger, which I have the um, Godox X-T. Uh, this is the TTL trigger. This is made for Canon, but it works on Sony. And I like this because it's angled and I can see it better than I can see this on my tripod down here. So I have a video, these two are, um, I could compare the two, why I choose this for real estate, why I choose this for weddings. I also have two of these for two cameras. Anyway, and I always bring this on a shoot for weddings because I'll have a backup for these. So always have backup. Anyway, let's go on the uh, X-T32 and it works with all the Godox lights like this okay so let me go into my um, next I apologize I've got extra batteries in here which are always important I have Nikon batteries I don't have my Sony's here but I carry about three extra Sony batteries two extra Nikon batteries and one extra lithium-ion battery that goes into this um, Flashpoint flash and I recommend if you don't mind spending a few extra bucks get the lithium-ion it lasts all week You don't have to recharge them like double A's awesome awesome. Okay um, Now let me go keep going here. I have a tilt shift lens Nikon 24 millimeter tilt shift So I use that on my on my Nikon camera and I also have an adapter I have a Metabone speed booster adapter which goes on here and the great thing about this is when I put a 24 millimeter full frame lens on my crop sensor Sony, it only becomes 25.5 because this speed booster reduces with uh, glass magnification. It really almost negates the crop factor. So um, you're going to have, you know, you're not going to have like 36 millimeters if you put this on a crop fact on a crop sensor. But it's only going to be 25.5, which I can deal with. I don't use this much anymore on my. Um, tilt shift on my Sony, but it's there in case I need it. Because right now, whoops, my light went out. Let me uh, put my light back on. Sorry. Oh, by the way, what I am using right now is the uh, Godox AD 600, 600 watt seconds, and I use it for the modeling lamp. So it's a great light. It's my big powerful light, and I'm not going to go into it. Uh, you know what? I'll just pull it off right now. So I can show you what it is and how I like it, but I'm not going to do a review on it. Here it is, and this is the modeling lamp. Anyway, I put this on here, I uh, point it straight up, and I put it on a 12-foot stand. And this, I get up on when I have like 20, 30, 40-foot ceilings. I bounce it off the ceiling, and it's got plenty of power and works great. So really recommend. I don't use it that often. Um, Especially now that I got my new light, I'll tell you about in a second. But I do, um, let me turn it towards me. Anyway, I uh, do use a 600 and I carry it with me every day and I keep it in this old, old low pro case. And I've had this since 86, I think. But it fits perfectly in there. I keep an extra battery in the front pouch um, for my. Street Glide 360, but you know what? I'm getting ahead of myself, so I apologize. Anyway, um, let's go next. Uh, card. I have card caddy from Think Tank, which I put my cards in. Don't need to really go over that. I have a 16 to 50 millimeter, uh, 3.5 to 5.6 aperture. It's not a fast lens, but this lens on the Sony camera with my remote app and my pole, I can zoom in remotely. It's really cool. From the app, I can zoom. This is called a power zoom. And this lens isn't really fast, but you know what? It doesn't need to be fast for real estate. So it's awesome. And it's, I think I bought it for 110 bucks on Craigslist. Anyway, it goes on the Sony a6000. Awesome, awesome combination. 
Um, although what I use now is the Sam Young 12 millimeter, and I cannot cannot tell you the praise. The pr I cannot praise it enough. Just making sure my new mic is not falling off. Thank you, Martin BB, for lending me lending me the uh, Rhodes little mic I plug into my iPhone, and uh, hopefully that is my newest uh, my newest thing for video. Um, and I'm hooking it into my cell phone with the Rhodes mic. So this little Rhodes um, recorder now, the Rhodes mic into my iPod, iPhone, and I'm, I'm hopefully getting much better sound because I got a lot of complaints about the sound. Anyway, and I want to show you one, two things. I don't know if I showed you already. I can play with this, put it on my little belly, and it just stays there. So I really recommend the iPad life-proof case. Anyway, let's go in now to the fun stuff. Oh, also I have a headlamp. So I always have light for twilight shots. I recommend having a headlight uh, for you. Now let's start going into the speed lights. This is the uh, Flashpoint Zoom Lithium Ion TTL R2. So it goes together with the trigger and everything talks together. This has the lithium ion battery, which is really great. Uh, it lasts all week, literally. I mean, I can't tell you how great it is. And this thing has TTL, although I don't, I don't use TTL for real estate, but I use TTL for weddings, and it's just great. And these were $179. I found it on sale uh, during Christmas for uh, $119, I think. Anyway, great flash. And I put this on um, stands with the Manfrotto quick release because it's so fast and easy and secure. Fast, easy, secure. Light on a stick, it's not going to fall off. It comes off, goes in my case. Okay, the next one I'm going to show you is the uh, cheaper one. This is the Flashpoint AA battery. So I like to have some AA's in case I run out of my lithium ions. And this one goes on a different case. This one can go on a little... I learned this from Scott Hargis. I put this on a little Sun Pack $19 tripod. And I wouldn't use this tripod for uh, anything other than putting a light on it. But the thing we like about it is, okay, the thing we like about it is it is cheap. It is, you can use it like light on a stick if you like. I really love these. And you can just have it a teeny little footprint. Well, you've got to close it up to make it work. But you have a teeny little footprint. You can put it in showers. You can use it as light on a stick. Okay, it's great. Anyway, this is a little quick release, which I can use. And by the way, let me put this back here. By the way, I've got a little baseball bat bag, which I keep for a couple of little soft boxes, little stands. And where you put the bats, I just pull out umbrellas. <laughs> I don't use shoot through umbrella a lot, just to let you know, go on the record. I bounce everything off the ceiling straight up. But I got it. So it's a little Nike bat bag I think I got from a friend or something, but it works awesome. You can put little stands in there. So now let's go to the next thing. I'm going to show you. So I showed you my two lights. I have two speed lights. This is really just a backup now. So I always pull out one speed light and I pull out Look at this too. I want to show you. I don't know how to present it. I want to present it second, but I'm, it's because it's on top. I'm going to present it first. The new Evolve from Flashpoint, Evolve 200 R2. It is 200 watt seconds. It's about equal to three or four of these. And the best part is it's about the same friggin' size. Heavier though, but I am... I didn't know if I liked it at first, I'm going to do a complete review on this bad boy, but it is really cool, and it is super powerful. It is equal to, and the thing I love about it is because I can put this on top of my Streetlight 360 in the case. That's how small it is, and I think together these are going to be great. But here is my Streetlight 360 with this, the big reflector on it, four and a half, five inch, five and a half inches? Uh, anyway. It's really nice. I usually take it off for real estate so I get a little extra power. Little plastic diffuser. But this is wireless, doesn't have a cable for the battery. This one has, and again, I'm not going to go into a review of it right now, but this one has um, lithium ion battery that is 
I think they say it gets 600 pops. And I've got a quick release on this. So what I use now, I put it on a Manfrotto uh, 1051 BAC stand with a quick release, Manfrotto quick release. And uh, I'll tell you something, it is really turning out to be, I think this is the new light, man. This is probably it. This is just, it's like a speed light, but man, it's like a speed light on steroids. Anyway, so what I can do is I can extend this and do light on a stick here. I can angle it if needed, but it is a little bit of a pain to angle. So it's just going to be standing up or if I want to do something else, I'll just take it off the stand, point it, do whatever, and then put it back. And I really, again, recommend this Manfrotto quick release so you have this to be totally secure. Because there's no way I could take it off as quick and not and have it secure every time without this quick release. So anyway, that's the uh, Evolve 200. And you can get this at Adorama or you can get it from anywhere else. Uh, Amazon, you get it. It's under the Godox brand. And I used to use Nikon flashes and I used Young Nuo flashes. And I now have gone to uh, Godox lights, which are rebranded by Flashpoint Adorama because I wanted bigger lights and Young Nuo only had speed lights. So anyway, that is over here. I'm gonna put that back here. And that is the Evolve 200. The uh, Godox brand is, I think it's the AD 200, 200 watt seconds, but with the Frenzel Fresnel, Frenzel, Fresnel, I forget what it is, but it is the different head that um, you can get the same, you can get put reflector with a bare bulb on that, but it's not as powerful. So this with the Frenzel head is the same power, their tests are coming out that it's the same power output as this. This is a better quality of light for other things, but for real estate, that will work just fine. So anyway, I put that here since I've got it out. I'm going to show you again on the quick release. I cannot impress enough. It's just so on, off, quick, and secure. Um, I have a whole video on what do I use to put attach my lights to my stands. It's actually a fairly recent video. This is April 6th or 7th, 2017. So I have also the battery here, and this battery lasts forever. Anyway, you get to 2,000 pops out of this at quarter power, half power. The, uh, this goes into the flash. And I'll tell you something, man. This works too. I can do line on a stick with this. And it actually has an articulating head. And if that little flash, the 200 had the articulating head, it might be perfect. But I've always got my uh, Streetlight 360. So I put that there. Anyway, I love it. I'm... Uh, I love my system right now. Godox is, is it. And I have a link, as many of you know, if you buy something from Adorama, which I recommend Adorama, use the link in the show notes and uh, I get a little bit of a little bit of cutback from it. And uh, it is not much. I tell people it's to buy coffee and to help with all my free videos. So I would really appreciate you using that link. And you just click on the link and then you go to Adorama, do your shopping. When you purchase, I get a little bump. It's like 1% of your purchase. But man, you know, it's 20 bucks here, 10 bucks there, 5 bucks there. And it, you know, it's really nice and it shows you guys care. Thank you. Anyway, so let's continue. In my case, I have N-loop batteries, double A's. I don't use very many anymore because I use those lithium ion batteries, but I can put eight in a little case like this. And don't ask me where I got this case, but I got it. And I carry a little 10,000 milliamp, um, this is an anchor battery, and I have various cords, I'll go over these cords real quick with you. I carry um, mini USB 2, I can plug this in and plug a lot, you know, charge a lot of things. I also have the Godox 2 into 1, so you put this into a battery. I also carry extra batteries, you always carry extra batteries. And this goes into two of the output, outputs of the battery and the light streak light goes into this and it doubles the recycle time. So I've got this under my, I'll probably put this in the show notes what it is, but it's a great thing to have. And I believe in it a hundred percent. Other cables I've got though are like uh, uh, Apple, Apple cable for my iPhone. I've got um, various, uh, multi-plugs, you know, so I don't really want to go into that, 
But uh, let's see, I don't have anything else in there. Um, it's kind of weird having this pouch right here, but you can fit certain things in there. So I really like, I have it, and uh, it's just, I recommend if you get a Pelican case, get the little padded divider they put in there. I mean, the, the divider they put in there, I really recommend that. Okay, let's keep going. Something I don't use a lot, but I use it uh, for various things. Sometimes I want to mount a camera, I want to mount, I want to attach it to my pole photography. And I will attach a Manfrotto super arm, magic arm. Anyway, this will is loose like this, and I can attach it to my, uh, let's say, my pole. And I want to attach it to my, uh, to a, a tripod to give it extra stability. Anyway, put that there. I tighten up the clamp like that, and it just stays like that. So I really recommend getting a magic arm. I found this at a camera swap meet. I think I paid 50 bucks for it, but it's awesome. They cost about 150 bucks new, I think. But look, you just let go of it, and then you can put it in any direct, any position, and then it stays. Awesome piece of kit. Okay, let's go next. I've got a backup streak light, and this is the non-TTL version, and I don't use it primarily. Uh, the primary one. It's a backup, but it has a plug-in. It's not uh, the same frequency, so I had to get an exterior, um, an exterior uh, receiver, which turned it into 2.4. But it uh, just plugs into the USB, so it's kind of easy to deal with. And I have my backup light here, so it's really, really, really nice. And the other thing I have, I'm going to show you. I haven't really talked much about this. I'm going to change out the reflector and put in this. And if you have one of these Streaklight 360s, um, I really think you should find this. I used to use quantum lights, and I had with my quantums, I bought them all used. I don't use them anymore because I like the uh, I like the Streaklight better. It's more powerful than the, the lights I was using, cheaper, and I just it's whoa, it's wirelessly controlled, which I was never wirelessly controlled with my um, quantum lights. But this is a 12 inch softbox that fits on my street light. And I don't use it for real estate, but man, I use it for portraits, for weddings, and it's awesome. So here you go. Super nice. Uh, it's all angled for this. I guess I should straighten it out. But anyway, you can make it look straight, but it's awesome little softbox. Love it, absolutely love it. Okay, um, next is going to be uh, a backup speed light. I just carry, got this, it was $49 when I bought the other speed light. It's the Zoom, oh no, this is the TTL version, so it's more, but I have, it's a double A's. So I've got double A TTL if I need it, which I can also plug in. I have a cable that goes to the street light battery and will like quadruple the recycle time. So anyway, I carry extra flashes and I don't always carry this even with me, but I will keep it in the car. Um, so I've gone over stands, I've gone over uh, what I use, and you know, here's the deal. I can usually, I'll just say I'm going to be not using this on every shoot. I have it in the car. But I'm going to have this with me, and I'm going to have this with me, and I can walk in a house, and I'm going to do one other thing I'm going to show you. I can put this speed light if I want. Actually, yeah, I'll use this speed light. I have a little flash pouch that comes with, all your flashes come with little pouches, and they sit in the box, and you never use them. Take a zip tie, attach it to your tripod, and you can stick it on your tripod so you always have an extra flash where you need it and you can pull it out if you're in a bathroom you always have it with you so i have the three lights this is attached to my tripod so i can carry both these lights with one hand and then i can carry uh, I'm, i usually leave this in the car and i'll carry my camera and tripod and i can't show you because i'm filming with it but this is where i can walk into a house and have so much power and so much versatility, and these light stands, these BAC stands are super, super nice. And we're now with the 200 watt second, the, uh, what is it, the uh, Evolve 200, I kind of like that name. Anyway, 
I am in Fat City and happy, happy as hell. So excuse me, you all hear about this, but you never see it, so. How's that new mic working, by the way? Feedback, mic working better? Okay, still a work in progress, and this is the first video I have used it. I have used this mic with, so hopefully it is an improvement. Rich Bound Photography, subscribe. You can easily subscribe, please. Uh, you'll, I'll give you so much information. Go through my old videos. I've got so many things. and Send me comments. I am absolutely returning all of my comments now, and uh, I will answer questions if I can. I do private coaching, so so, so you can, can you can connect with me um, by my coaching. If you send me a message, uh, that's also all, also through photographyforrealestate.net. I'm on their coaching list, um, and I can really help you get up to speed. But there's some other great photographer coaches too. So whatever works for you. Mine I do by Skype anyway. So use the Adorama link. I get a little bit of stipend from that and uh, just to do better work faster. Spend the money if you can to get the equipment you need to be successful. Remember, this is a business and you got to have what you got to have. Uh, so many things I buy used off of Craigslist. I'm always looking at stuff. I'm buying what I need and now I know what I use that works for me. My tripod works, my geared head works, my light stands work. Um, now my new lights, I'm still evolving with, the, I got the Evolve, but I'm evolving with new lights. And I'll be probably getting another one of these 200s and uh, to have just a little extra power if I need it. Because I shoot some big time, not big time, I apologize, I'm not gonna come off like that. I shoot some big jobs, big houses, so I need, need power. So, and I don't want to always have the 600 watt second light with me because uh, it's only about a stop more than the 360. You should go check out the, the statistics on all the lights and everything. So enjoy your day, shoot better, shoot smarter, edit, send me notes and make some more money and get better so you can start doing better jobs, start doing designer jobs, new home jobs. Uh, whatever you can do, and even architectural photography. Some great tutors out there, some great coaches. I really recommend the Scott Hargis set vid video series, um, Lighting for Real Estate. Mike Kelly's got awesome two videos called uh, Where Art Meets Architecture, and those are super high produced, not like my videos. Those are super high produced, quality, high production value videos. Mine are just informative, and I'm I'm trying to improve. I'm using the Sony A6000 to photograph, and I'm using my uh, new microphone from Rhodes, which, uh, you know, it's, at least hopefully it's better. So I won't bore you anymore. Subscribe. Have a great day. Rich Baum, signing off.